Shelby, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing good. Greetings from Las Vegas. Greetings from Indiana. <laughs> well, thank you for joining me to talk about your new book, The Scarlet Veil. Um, tell us about your new series, A Vampire Romance Story, uh, and it follows a fan favorite, too. Yes, it is. So The Scarlet Veil is the first in a new spinoff duology set in the same universe as Serpent and Dove, which was my original trilogy. Um, it does. It follows Sally Tremblay. She is the first huntswoman in the world um, as she investigates a string of magical murders in Cesarine, all of the bodies drained of blood. So obviously she's the first, so she's desperate to prove herself in this new role, and she follows the investigation straight into the heart of a vampire lair, <laughs> where she attracts the attention of its cruel yet beautiful king, uh, who has plans of his own for Sally. And Jean-Luc, he's the leader of the Huntsmen. Is he a fair leader, or is he more of a tyrant? No, he's great. He's very fair. He's worked very hard to procure his position as the leader. Um, it's actually new also. Um, in the original trilogy, Reed is another character. He was in charge. And now Jean-Luc, it's his turn. And he takes it very seriously. And how does he feel when Sally becomes a huntsman, though? He's very proud of her. Um, he's very proud of her. He actually encourages her to do that based on the events at the end of the original trilogy um, in Gods and Monsters. Um, he thinks that it would be a great fit. And she agrees. And so she actually, like I said, she's the first, um, which means that she has a, a a lot to prove. It's Yeah. And what kind of new evil is rising in Beltara? <laughs> um, so, so uh, we, without getting no spoilers, spoilers, no spoilers, <laughs> no spoilers. Um, the bodies that are found are all drained of blood, um, which we know signifies vampires, but vampires have not um, been out and about so to speak in this in this uh world uh we've got witches we've got werewolves we've got like mermaids goblins all of these things but we haven't heard of vampires yet even though they have existed all along they're very secretive um they're very clever which is why we don't know that they're around but uh so so we have quite the the journey to discovering that we have a new monster in town it sounds like a perfect quest for Sally to prove herself doesn't it <laughs> yes yeah, she she thinks so and and you your character is with a is it Mikhail? Is that how you say his name? Um yeah, yeah. The, there are so many different ways to say I know. his name. I, um, because it, it's such an old name. It's 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 like um it's everywhere throughout the world. So um I say it I say it Michael, but okay. Mikhail, Mishma, there, there are a lot of different ways. Well, I'm saying Michael and Saley, they're total opposites, but they really spark chemistry, don't they? Yeah, um it's it's kind of the good girl bad boy trope for sure i love tropes so <laughs> and this is book one in the series but you know i'm an analog man in the digital world shelby so how has tiktok become involved with the scarlet veil <laughs> um well i hope that i hope that um tiktok kind of was responsible for the success of serpent and dove um so i really hope that they will accept the scarlet veil as like their next their next book that they're uh, raving about we can cross our fingers for that because like I said it was so responsible for um the success of Serpent and Dove uh it, it Serpent and Dove actually didn't become popular on TikTok for like a couple years it really hit during the pandemic when um TikTok got a hold of it and it got a second life um but I think that the TikTok users who liked Serpent and Dove will like the Scarlet Veil because it does have vampires in it. It is still an enemies to lovers romance, just like the original trilogy. So, have you always loved vampires? I mean, what kind of people are they breeding out there in Indiana? You know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have. There's nothing to do out here. I have yeah. to read, right? So, <laughs> yeah. No, I've always loved vampires. Um, I grew up on Twilight as a young adult. Obviously, <laughs> I'm in that generation. Uh, I love the Vampire Diaries, True Blood. I even really loved Dracula. Um, my brothers, I have older brothers, two older brothers, and I was one of my most vivid childhood memories is when they made me watch the black and white Dracula. Um, I stayed up all night, like staring at my windows, thinking that Dracula was going to come into my bedroom and like abduct me. Oh, but I, even though I was scared. I liked it. Like, I don't know, it developed into this this thing with, with vampires. So I, I, you mean the Bela, Bela Lugosi version, the original Universal yes. Dracula? You've got to watch this. Yeah. Have you seen the Spanish version? I haven't. 
you've got to see the Spanish version. It is a totally different vibe. It's sexy. It's 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 horrific. Really? Well, yeah, like because back then they would make the same movies with uh, the same sets, the same script. They would bring in Spanish actors and do for for the Latin market. So it's available. But so what? Had a totally different film. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you should see what the ladies were wearing. These negligees and and there was this <laughs> this passion between the characters. I mean, just it was you know the it was much different than we would see in America. You know, but it's a totally different vibe. So check out the original Dracula, but the Spanish version. You got, I'd love to know what you think of it. Okay. Oh, I will definitely check it out. That sounds like something I would like. <laughs> well, congratulations on the success of your new book. I, I have it right here. I can't wait to read it. I'm a big Halloween fan. So, I mean, this is just, I've Perfect. read the first, first chapter. It's fantastic. So I'm a new fan and uh, hopefully you'll go on a book tour so everyone can meet you. I I, I am going on a book tour, actually. Okay. It starts tonight. Oh, uh, does it? So, yeah. <laughs> I won't be in Las uh, I won't be in Las Vegas, but I will be in LA and San Francisco. It's okay, kind of far away. Well, you give Maybe me an excuse. <laughs> you give me an excuse to drive to LA. I go all the time, so I'll come out and see you. <laughs> Perfect. Wonderful. Well, I look forward to meeting you. Thank you so much for having me. My pleasure, and uh, let's talk again soon. Thank you so much. Bye.